I wanted to begin by asking you, Crazy Rich Asians, that's, you know, a pretty key movie because it's the first time in about 25 years we've had a movie with uh, a mostly Asian cast. Mm. Is this, according to you, really a game changer for Asian artists in Hollywood? And for example, are you getting more work as a result of this film? Well, Hollywood entertainment industry is the same as any other uh, industry. It's really money driven and profit driven. So with Crazy Rich Asian, it's a really, really successful film. It made a lot of money. Really a lot of money. Yes. <laughs> so um, that made the industry people realize that um, you know, Asian um, stories can actually make a profit. And there is an interest in the, in the, um, in the audience. So it definitely helps a lot. Because um, now, uh, having that success, the, the producers, the investors are, are more willing to, you know, put money in because uh, they know the risks will be, you know, less because mm -hmm. there is a proven success. Um, so I, I think for, you know, for having more diverse um, stories coming out in the future, what needed in, this, uh, in the industry is to have more of these successful diversity films um, to prove that to, uh, to, the, to the investors and the producers that you can produce films and people will watch it. And actually CAA um, did a, a, a research and um, a statistics show that a couple years ago that um, you know, films that have more diverse cast uh, outcome a lot of the other films in the box office. Mm. So are you getting more work, uh, more calls for auditions after Crazy Rich Asians? I do have more auditions, uh, you know, for the past two years after Crazy Rich Asians. Um, I do feel that there are a lot of um, new and interesting Asian roles, leading roles or main supporting roles are coming up, mm. uh, which is different from before. Maybe 10 years ago, there are less. Um, so I... So you are seeing some progress. I'm seeing it. But whether my success in the last two years is directly from Crazy Rich Asian that I don't know because I've also, I've also been in the industry for, you know, eight years. Sure. So it's not <laughs> directly related, but there's yeah. sort of more, more representation yes. slowly. Yes. Uh, one issue I wanted to ask you about was the issue of so-called whitewashing. Mm -hmm. You know, Hollywood has had a pattern of having non-Asian uh, people play the roles of Asian characters. Mm -hmm. And that's a pattern that seems pretty hard to break. How far are we from a time when it's a given that Asian people will play Asian characters? Um, it really go back to the producers and the casting people and the investors because they why they they are having you know um, Caucasian actors playing these roles are because of the star power they believe these people can bring in the money uh, bring in the audience that's why they will sacrifice casting some people who are actually uh, ethnicity uh, uh, correct for the role but they cast someone who is actually have a star power or name correct is the bankability factor yes but um, after uh, ghost in the shell you've seen there are a lot of um, people are talking about that they shouldn't cast Scarlett Johansson for the role. Correct. There was a lot of controversy around that. Yeah. So after that, and actually producers right now are more careful. They will try to find people who are ethnicity correct for the role before reaching to like a star name. Uh, the best thing will definitely be getting a star name with the right ethnicity for the Correct. role. Correct. Yeah. Yes, that is the goal, isn't it? Yes. Now, one issue that affects women working in various industries around the world is the issue of the pay gap. And many actresses in Hollywood have been fairly outspoken about it. Where do you think we stand in that fight, in the fight for pay and wage equality? Well, things are changing right now. There are a lot of... Um, male uh, actors are even stepping up and saying that they won't take a job unless um, there are female co-stars are being equally paid. I think that's um, a start. Yes. Um, we do need people who are working in the top um, level 
to make those decisions and be set an example um, to help the industry for equality. Yeah. China, that's a country and a market we can't ignore. Chinese investment has been behind a lot of recent films, a film like Midway, for example. Mm -hmm. And experts are predicting that China will be the largest market for international films by 2020. Hollywood can't ignore China anymore, can it? I don't think Hollywood is ignoring China. They have always been trying to um, work with China. But of course, there are different, you know, there are censorship um, um, things they need to deal with for, for having a project that can work in or film with Chinese stars or being released in China. There is a lot of things that have to work out. But Hollywood has been trying to work with China. And um, that's why there are uh, the films that you mentioned and also um, The Great Wall, mm -hmm. The Mag. Um, whether they are a successful film or not, it really depends it's on the story and the cast and a lot of stuff because the mag is really successful with J uh, J uh, uh, Jason Statham but uh, the mag uh, the other one the Great Wall with Matt Damon was a flop mm -hmm. but so so it's really at the end is about the story 